the things that I am painting and saying about Mary Magdalene may be valid to any one of you or it may be not valid at all. But this is a report on my journey. And part of that journey is looking at and listening to my dreams. Many years ago, this was before I even thought of anything called goddess. I had this dream that I am in an ancient city and I hear the chorus from Carmina Burana being sung by an a cappella choir. And I walk along the streets and I find this choir and it, the, it, the, it, people walking along and singing this song. And I follow them into an old church, a stone church uh, that is built on an equilateral cross, which is that shape there. And we go inside and there's candlelight everywhere and we sit on these tiny little chairs around a platform in the middle. And on this platform is a woman dressed in colorful robes. And slowly but surely she removes one robe after the other and one robe after the other as she goes down and she sits down until eventually she opens her legs and exposes her vulva. And in the dream, this was just the most amazing, sacred moment of revelation. I never understood the dream. I put the dream away. Until many years later when I started doing union therapy and I did uh, research and investigation on uh, the, the symbols of the collective unconscious. I realized that this was the dream that was showing me the path I was going to take, is going back to the sacred female. It is like in Leonard Cohen's lyrics there. And then of course on the other side of this book, I have gone into Jung's description of the mandala because that equilateral cross is an aspect of the mandala. And so on here I have various uh, mandalas and explanations by Jung on what the mandala means. He, he says that mandala dreams are essentially dreams of healing where you are bringing the disparate parts of your soul back into a place of containment. And that just, when I read that research, I, it just made, then the dream made sense to me. This was my healing dream for myself. So even though I'm talking about Mary Magdalene, how she's been understood in, in, in the, the scripture, in art, in legend, in religion and whatever, there is also this other part that is my own personal path that uh, runs through this. 